Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the GPS mod. So let's go ahead and get into our tractor right here. So how do I bring up the GPS mod? Because when you start, you don't have anything to bring up the GPS mod. So you look in the top right hand corner, or top left hand corner, it'll say left control and keep at zero. So that'll bring up my GPS mod right here. So normally it'll just start with just this, just the bottom one right here. So if I want to bring up the rest of the menu, I would hit left control and then the delete sign on my keypad on the right hand side of my keyboard. So I'll bring up the HUD that you need to use in order for the GPS mod to function. So there's two different ways you can do it. You can either do it with key bindings or you can do it with the mouse itself. So in order to get the cursor up, you hold down the control key in order to get all this information up. So for example, let's say I want to cultivate this field. So as you can see, I'm in the field already with a cultivator. And I want to start cultivating right here. So in order to start cultivating here, what I would do is I would hold the left control and enter, and that'll center the line on where I am. And if I want to automatically detect the width of my implement here, I would hit left control and three, and that would detect the width. So if you see in the tractor here, I have this little blue line, that's the offset. So sometimes the offset's necessary, sometimes it's not. In this case, it is not. So I'm gonna go hold down my control key right here and hit this little zero sign right here, which will get rid of or zero in the, or reset the offset. So if you want an offset, you can increase it by hitting this button right here, by holding your left control and using your left mouse button to click, or you can move it to the other side if you wanna do that by holding down your left key, left control and your left mouse key. Okay, so that's the basics of that. So if you want to increase or decrease the working width, it's done right here. You hold the left mouse button down or left control button button down and then you increase or decrease. Or if you want to set to automatic, you can hold the left control and then A and then you can do that like so. If you want to shift it to the left, so let's say I want to move it over to the edge of the field, I would go to this one right here where it says course set and I would move it over there by left control and then my left mouse button as well or to the right with this one. If I want to rotate it 90 degrees, I would hit this button right here, which will rotate the GPS 90 degrees. If I want to rotate the GPS, I would use these buttons right here, like so, that'll rotate it to the left, rotate it to the right, like so. Or if I want to center it again, I could go like that and use my left control and center and enter key, okay? If I want to save this course right here now, what I would do is I would hold the control button down, the left control, and I would say save course. So now it's saved in the number two slot. So if I go to the number one slot, and let's say I do this, and I save this course, just so you can see the difference here. So that's saved in course slot number one. So if I go back and move to course slot number two by the plus and minus here, and I go load course, it will load that north-south course that I had loaded before. So that's how that would work in that context. Okay, there's a couple different modes you need to know about for the GPS mods. So let's say I'm following my course right here. How do I do that in the first place? You use the left control and W and that will enable or disable the passive or active GPS mode in this context. So if I hit left control and W, it will enable it or disable it. So you know it's enabled when you see this little satellite dish right here and has the signals coming out of it, that means it is enabled. So that means it will follow the path that you have set for it. So right now, in this mode right here, as you can see, it won't stop at the edge of the field. It'll just keep going until you tell it to stop. How do you tell it to stop? You tell it to stop by either hitting A or D, like so, and then you can stop the vehicle or you can hit brake or acceleration, whatever you wish. So let's say you want the GPS to automatically stop at the edge of the field. So you'd go to the next mode, which is this mode right here. It has like a little straight line and a T, and then you can set it up so it stops right at the edge of the field. So right here, I could decrease the auto stop distance so it's as close to the edge of the field as possible, or I could increase it so it stops further away. So depending on what type of implement you're using, you can adjust that accordingly. So I have it set to 10 right now. So if I follow the GPS course and I set it up, it should stop 10 meters away. I might be too close already. So there you go. It's indicating that there's the edge of the field and that that's stopping 10 meters away or 10 units away. I can decrease that of course 
by doing that, by bringing this down to one, and then it'll stop one meter away from the edge of the field, which is as close as it can get, basically. So, Now let's say I want GPS to automatically turn for me, which is possible with GPS as well. So I'm going to make the turn myself manually. As you can see, the turning circle is not very great for this. So often what happens with GPS is it'll skip a lane when you're using it. So the mode I want it in is now is this little line, and it has like a, it's like an upside down J. So it has like a line, a straight arrow, and then a right arrow in this case. And you can switch which way you're going, you're turning. So in this case, I want to turn right, so I want to have it up and to the right. So let's go ahead and follow the GPS course and see what happens here. What should happen is it should go get to the end of the field and then turn. So most likely it's going to skip a, uh, a lane here only because the turning circle of this tractor is not very good. So it should most likely it will skip a turn here. Let's see what happens when we get to the edge of the field. All right, we're coming into the edge of the field. Now it should turn right like so and make the turn to the next pass. And like I said, you can change this if you want to. If you want to adjust the, if you want to adjust the, the number of lanes it passes or skips, if you look down here, I'm going to press this plus button right here and it'll say one there. So let's say I put it to three. Now what theoretically what should happen is it should skip three lanes, theoretically. So let's see what happens when we get to the edge of the field here and it should skip three lanes. And this is helpful for when you have bigger equipment. It'll automatically skip a lane for you. It just depends on the turning circle usually. So let's see what happens here. So we're getting to the edge of the field. It's going to make a left turn and it should go. There's one, two, and then the third one right here. Like so, it's coming out and that's number three. And there you go. So that's what, how you can set up the GPS if you want it to skip a lane so it doesn't miss as much on the end. So that's automatically turning. I didn't touch anything when it did that. So. One of the other functions you can use the GPS mod is you can copy a neighbor's course. So let's say there's two people on the, on the map and you're playing and they're using the same equipment as you are. You can actually use this course from neighbor button and that will allow you to follow or copy their course. The other thing that can be helpful sometimes is this. So let's say you're in the, in the tractor right here and you want to see the lines a bit better. You can actually bring the lines up. So what will happen is You'll see the lines a bit better. They'll be raised up. Or if you don't want the lines at all, you can press that button again. And now there are no GPS lines. So that's the basics of the GPS mod. If you want another mod tutorial done, let me know in the comments below when I'll choose the most upvoted mod tutorial. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more tutorial action. Also, if you have questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Catch you guys later.